A mobile policeman attached to the Maru Police Division was killed by a terrorist who attacked Rwandurawa, a community in Maru local government area of Zampara State on Sunday. Residents said 13 people comprising six women, five men and two children were abducted by the terrorist during the attack that lasted more than two hours. A community leader who craved anonymity said the terrorist came to abduct residents of the community so they could collect ransom before releasing in them. Another resident, Faisal Ibrahim, said his sister Zainab, who is married to the district head of the area, was one of those abducted. We now have joining us on phone call from Zampara, Yushawa Adamu, Northwest Regional Editor for Daily Trust. Mr. Yushawa, always a pleasure to have you join us on News Hour. Uh, good evening. How are you? Now, what uh, is the state of the things in Rwandurawa, a community in Maru, local government area of Zampara State, where it is believed that 13 persons were kidnapped by bandits on Sunday? Yeah, uh, there is uh, fear and apprehension among the residents uh, because the bandits or the this particular attack has uh, uh, inflicted uh, fears among the residents. Uh, even though the some of the residents I have spoken with uh, have confirmed to me that um, they have heard about the coming of the bandits uh, earlier before they arrived the village, so they organized their local uh, vigilante who uh, placed uh, um, uh, blocked the uh, Maru uh, sorry Rwanda Kanoma Road uh, with attempt to to ambush the, the bandits. But unfortunately, the bandits uh, did not show up until the early morning Sunday. So they stormed the village uh, on motorbikes, about 50 motorbikes, carrying 30 people on each motorbike, uh, equipped with uh, a rifle, and they kidnapped uh, 13 people, uh, including women and uh, children. Uh, the Ruan uh, Rawa is a village that is having border with a thick forest that link Maru with Anka, Zulu Tansado, Burgungwari, and down to Burgungwari in Kaduna, and down to Zuru in uh, uh, Kibi State. And uh, there is one particular village in that area where, uh, that is uh, Mutunji village, where activities of local mining is taking place. And because of that, the bandits placed a levy of 200 million on the farmers in that particular area that they have to pay 200 million before they could be allowed to harvest their crops. And they have already started paying. So, so this, I, I think, uh, among the reasons why uh, uh, attack persists around the uh, local government. But, now, you talk about vigilantes uh, trying to find a way to curtail these bandits from accessing the, the village. Now, has the police confirmed the incident, and what has been done to rescue these abducted persons? Well, we have tried to get the uh, police public relations officer to respond on phone, but we could not get him. But from what uh, the residents are, are, are saying is that, yes, of course, some police uh, men have visited the village and they assured them that uh, they would do their best to track the bandits and uh, rescue the victims. Okay, on the part of these bandits, have they made demand for ransom? No, for now they have not even uh, called to any uh, uh, relations of the abducted people. So, so really, yeah, because uh, you could be surprised that. Uh, at uh, 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 forest, uh, like I have said, in so many local government and even two states. So, so nobody knows why they took the uh, victims first, uh, because they could be in Bungwari or Zulu in chemistry. Uh, they have not even for any of the relations of the victims. All right. Now, have things uh, deteriorated so much that bandits can just drive into some of these communities and kidnap people with no reprisals? I mean, do you think things have gotten to this stage where bandits can just drive into some of these communities and kidnap people with no reprisals? 
Of course, of course, I have to say, this Moluccan government in particular is totally a thick pocket, a chess border, a thick pocket that links several local governments to the state that is capital and that. So they easily go there and do their activities.